Hello, hello, welcome to Solving with AWS Solutions, your deep dive in architectures built by AWS that are ready to deploy instantly in the cloud. I'm Rob, your host, joined today with a man whose AWS Aurora is glowing around him. How are you doing, Tom? Hi all, today we're going to be looking at Serverless Transit Network Orchestrator, a solution that helps customers manage and automate routing between multiple VPCs. So this AWS solution is specific to customers supporting multiple accounts. It helps customers organize their multi-account and multi-network strategy. And it can be leveraged at a single account level, across multiple accounts, or even at the organization level. It's useful for any customers who need to route traffic between multiple VPCs. The big value add here is automation and time savings of complex network administration. That's right, all the customer has to do is apply a set of tags to their VPCs and the solution will take care of the rest. Sounds great, let's get into it. Uh, it's another one of our solutions. It has a landing page, it has an implementation guide, CloudFormation template so that you can spin it up in your account, and of course, the source code is available on GitHub. That's awesome, let's dive into the architecture. Sure, so we are looking at two CloudFormation templates to deploy this solution. Uh, the first uh, is the hub account, so where you have your transit gateway, uh, you're going to deploy this template. Out of the box, it's going to create four route tables in your transit gateway, mm -hmm. and then it's going to build out this architecture so that we can seamlessly and automatically attach VPCs from this account and multiple other accounts to your transit gateway. Okay. Uh, the other piece to the hub account is we also have a, a, a UI that's attached to it, so you can kind of visualize and see an audit trail of, of what's been going on uh, in that account. So that's part of the hub account. You said there was a second cloud formation that's also deployed as part of this solution? So the second template is really just creating a CloudWatch event within the account, so that, and that's looking for changes in tags within your VPCs. So the way that the solution works is every time you tag uh, a VPC that you've created or one that you have with certain predefined tags that are part of the solution, that's going to kick off that CloudWatch event and that's going to make a call out to the Amazon Event Bridge, which allows interconnectivity between accounts for events, and that's going to trigger our workflow to attach that VPC to the, to the transit gateway. Tables. So I heard two important things. First is every time we have a new VPC, there's a cloud formation template we need to deploy as part of that VPC that will then tie it back to that hub account. It is. There's a second way that you can deploy it as well. Uh, it's either per account or if you're working within AWS organizations, you can pre-populate the first CloudFormation template with the ARN of your organization and that will automatically add all of those accounts into, okay. into the solution. You still have to deploy the second template so you have that CloudWatch event, uh, but it's, uh, it, for organizations, you can just put in the on and then all of your accounts are automatically ready to be connected. Gotcha, the backbone of this solution seems to be Transit Gateway. Can you talk a little bit about what that function is doing? Yeah, so what we're doing in here is we have, as we talked about earlier, you've got a central location where you can set up your route tables for internet connectivity between VPCs, accounts, and on-prem. Okay. To manually then actually go through that process, you have to go back and forth between the account that you want to connect, where you have your VPCs, you need to set up associations, mm -hmm. you have to set up all the gateways, the connectivity. This solution takes away all of that manual labor and replaces it with a combination of Lambda and step functions to go through that process for you. So you're eliminating the manual configuration, speeding time to deploy these new VPCs. Correct, so all you have to do now is just tag your VPCs and your subnets with the associated tags, that will trigger your CloudWatch event, and that will trigger the solution to actually connect up uh, Transit Gateway. That's pretty cool. Can you show me a little bit about how that happens? Yeah, let's take a quick look in the implementation guide. Uh, we have de we've detailed out the uh, tags. Now you can customize the solution and change these, but mm -hmm. out of the box, what we've done is we've set up four uh, route tables, uh, just as examples. Okay. And then within all of your other accounts and your VPCs, all you need to do is tag your VPC with either associate or propagate, and then define the uh, the route table as the value. And then for your subnets, you simply uh, tag it with the attached to TGW. So again, not to be repetitive here, but this is occurring on those spoke accounts or spoke VPCs to Correct. associate And that can be the same those. account. It doesn't have to be multiple okay. accounts. So you can do this on an account level, multiple account level, or even at an organization level. So can you show me a little bit about the UI as part of this? Yeah, so the UI gives us a couple of um, options. The solution can be deployed in two different ways. You can either say, I want to automatically approve any connections to Transit Gateway. Okay. So anything that's tagged will just get connected. 
The other option is that you can actually, when you deploy it, you can say that I want to be able to approve. So a little tighter control. Tighter control. So there's an SNS uh, subscription set up so that every time the process, the workflow is kicked off, you'll get a message or you can come into this dashboard and you can say, yes, I approve that connection, no, I reject that. So the network administrator is notified via SNS when that event occurs. When that happens. And then they can also come in here and they can actually see all of the VPCs that are associated with their transit gateway. And the nice piece about this, of uh, doing it this way, is you also get a audit trail. So you'll see a history of all the connectivity okay. that's been set up. So now we could actually see all those spoke accounts that have been associated with our hub network. Correct. So automation and some degree of uh, history to see what's been going on and the ability to run some kind of auditing. That's pretty cool. Sounds like it's saving us a lot of time in administrating of these network accounts. Great. That's the one. Thanks, Tom. So, STDO provides the tools necessary to automate setting up and managing transit networks in distributed AWS environments. The customer sets up their routing tables through AWS Transit Gateway. Then all they have to do is tag their VPCs and subnets. SDNO will handle the rest. A simple solution to a complex problem. I love it. Go check out STNO and other solutions on our AWS Solutions website.